Namaste, my dear students of grade 5. First of all, I would like to welcome you all in our English class. So, in our previous class, we started Unit 5, Lesson 1. And in that lesson, we discussed the reading part, thanking and congratulating, all right? We discussed different ways of, let's say, congratulation, okay, or congratulating others. So, what are we going to discuss today? Good. In today's class, we are going to discuss pronunciation and the grammar part, grammar 1 and grammar 2. So, are you ready with your necessary materials? Your textbook, your exercise book, pen or pencil. Very good. Now, we are going to start our lesson with the pronunciation part, which we discussed in our previous class. Okay? So then, let's listen to, you know, these all the words and also notice Focus. How many syllables each word has? Okay? We will listen to the correct pronunciation of these words given in our reading text. And after that, we'll also try to focus on the syllable. How many syllables are there while pronouncing these words? Okay? So, firstly, let us listen to the pronunciation of these words. And after listening to the pronunciation, we will, we will discuss how many syllables are there. So, here we go to listen to the pronunciation. Okay? Well. You. Success. Like. Always. Well, you listen the pronunciation of these words. Right. Now, let us discuss. Well, your success like a lodge. Now, how many syllables are there? Okay. Well, I'm pronouncing or when you listen to these first words, first word, well, well. Well, how many syllables? Well, very good. This is a single syllable. There is one syllable, okay? Well, well, yes. This is the single syllable. Your. What about next? Your. Maile your banda. Patiuta achir. Right, your. Single. Look at here. This is also one syllabic word. Now, listen again the word. Success. Success. How many syllables? Good. Okay. Well, pronouncing the word success. Yes. Okay. My stress is there two times. Success. Okay. Success. So, this is two syllabic word. Now, like. Like. Did you notice? Very good. Like. This is again single syllabic word. And now, alwaych. Alwaych. Come on. Good. This is two syllabic word. So, now we listen to the correct pronunciation of the words and also focus the syllable. How many syllables are there in these words? Let us go to the yes. Some more words there, okay? Firstly, we'll listen to these words and again, we will practice how many syllables are there. Let's listen first. Finally, congrats. Dream. Perform. Medal. Good. You listen each words, how it is pronounced, okay? Here, you listen 
finally. And you might have heard their congrats, okay? This is actually congratulations. This word is, okay? The root word of this is congrats, okay? Congrats. And let's say congratulation, okay? Here, congratulations, okay? Lessons, congratulations, okay? Dream, perform, medal. Now, please listen to me and now tell me how many syllables there, okay? Finally, how many syllables? Very good. Okay, while I'm pronouncing the word, you can listen carefully. Finally, okay? You can see the three syllables there, okay? Now, let us listen another word you have heard. Congratulations. How many syllables are there? Yes, very good. Congratulations. Okay, there are five syllables there. Congratulations. Okay, now, dream. Dream. How many syllables? Very good. One, dream. Dream. Okay, next. Perform. Perform. Okay, perform. Perform. Now, how many syllables there? Good. Perform. Perform. Two syllables. Okay? Perform. And medal. Medal. Come on. Yes, very good. Okay? So, there are these, let's say, the two syllables, medals. Yes, my dear students. You listen to the correct pronunciation of these words from our reading text one and you also learn to pronounce it correctly with the number of syllables okay how many syllables are there you know this is not syllable like if you see here the word you know m e d a l these are letters okay these are letters okay don't, don't say that this m e d a l this means five syllable no me do Metal, okay, to Slavic. So this is how uh, we learn the syllables, okay, and the pronunciation. Okay, these are uh, some of the words, okay, from the reading text. Now, what are we going to do? Yes, uh, we are going to deal with the grammar one first, okay, and in grammar one. What are we going to do? Okay, let us listen, okay, and watch this interesting, all right, song, or short video clip, and guess what are we going to learn today? Okay, let's listen and watch. I will tell you how or when, where or why something is done. I will tell you how or when. Where or why something is done Adverbs can describe a verb, an adjective or an adverb Adverbs can describe a verb, an adjective or an adverb Bobby shouts noisily at the match Jane waits excitedly to make the catch Billy laughs loudly at his pet Jenny flies quickly in her jet Adverbs tell you how or when, where or why something is done. Adverbs tell you how or when, where or why something is done. Adverbs can describe a verb, an adjective or an adverb. Adverbs can describe a verb, an adjective or an adverb. That dog is very naughty. This film is more exciting than I thought it would be That outfit's really crazy My mom just told me I'm extremely lazy Adverbs tell you how or when Where or why something is done 
Adverbs tell you how or when, where or why something is done. Adverbs can describe a verb, an adjective or an adverb. Adverbs can describe a verb, an adjective or an adverb. Debbie almost always fell over in this weather. The children are playing so nicely together. Trisha likes to sing tremendously loudly. Many wizards medals extremely proudly. Adverbs tell you how or when, where or why something is done. Yes, my dear students. Interesting. Very good. Okay, so you learned, you know, an uh, interesting song here. Adverbs. Okay. So adverbs describes, adverbs tells, what describes, what tells. Very good. I guess you have got to know, you know, adverbs, it describes, okay, adverbs, it describes and tells what, how, okay. Then what? When? Okay. And where? Okay. And also what? Why? Okay. Look at here. Uh, well, so adverbs describes and tells the answer of these questions. How? When? Where and why? Let's see one example. Uh, let me just write uh, one example for you. Okay. Let's see. Here. Okay. He, let's say, okay, ran. Okay. Or he, yeah, let's say, he ran quickly. Okay. He ran quickly. In this example, let's say, he ran how? Quickly. So, this is what he is a subject. This ran is a verb. Okay. How did he run? Okay. How did he run? Okay. So, the answer is, he ran quickly. You know? So, this is the answer of, let's say, this question, how? Okay. So, he ran quickly, and this question is describing this, what, verb, ran quickly, okay? So, in this way, we are going to discuss in the exercises the answer of when, where, and why, okay? So, this, you know, uh, the, the adverb describes the answer of, let's say, the, these questions. Hope, we'll discuss all the exercises based on, let's say, these questions. So, let's go to one of the, right, uh, right, chat over here. You can see over there some other questions, okay? Let's see here the adverbs. You can see how, how often, okay, when, and you also can see here where. Now, let us discuss, okay? So, What's the answer of, let's say, the how? I will write, let us discuss here how. All right? You can tell me easily. Okay? How did he solve the problem? Easily. Okay? Let's see. He solved the problem easily. This is the answer of what, how? Okay, look at here. Loudly. You can see, right? How did he speak? Loudly. Okay? This is the answer of, look at here, how. And look at here, sadly, okay, quietly, happily, quickly. Let's see here, slowly, right? These are the answer of the question, what, how. Now, let us discuss the answer of, let's say, the how often. You know, how it describes how often, the answer of how often. Look. Okay, once. How often do you visit your mamagar? Right. Maybe once a year. Okay. 
maybe twice a year. So, how often? And there is given the answer once. Sometimes, okay? And maybe what? Every day. How often? Okay? Every day. How often do you what? Do your homework? Every day. We do our homework every day. Look at here. Always. Okay? How often do you go to where? School. Mm -hmm. I always go to school. Right? Always. Often. Never. Twice. These are the answer of, let's say, the question, how often? These are also the adverb. Let's talk about when. When. Before. After. Early. Already. Now. Soon. Since. Okay? So, you can just, you know, Use, let's say this before, after, early, already, the answer of when. When there is the answer of when, all right, these are also what? The adverbs, before. When did you arrive? Okay? Yes, I arrived earlier. Okay? Yes, I arrived after him. Okay? Or you can say, okay, when did you complete? All right? I, I completed now. Okay? Yes, so these are some of the adverbs there. And again, the answer of where, you can see here, where, away, home, right? Let's see here, inside, outside, okay, near, here, or there, okay? He was there in his office. Where was he? He was there in his office. Okay? He is here in his home. When, let's say, you find the answer of these questions where, yes, this is also what we can say, the adverb. The answer of, again, how, how often, when, and where. Good. If so, here we now go to the Yes, the exercise of grammar one. Okay, let us see some of the example there. But before that, let's see. The following words are from reading one that we have already read in the previous class. Now, please tell me, are they nouns, verbs, adjectives, or adverbs? Come on, please. Very good. You are pretty sure, all right? So, this well successfully, finally, are all the what? Adverbs. They are describing what? Verbs, adjectives, okay? So that these are, well, successfully, finally, are adverbs. Very good. If so, now, let's discuss, okay? What is your role is, you answer the questions given at the end of each statement. Okay, this is the statement. He ran quickly. So, what is at the end of this statement? Quickly, okay. He ran quickly. Okay, now, what do you do? You answer the questions given at the end of each statement. Means, you just answer using what? The end of that statement is quickly. Okay, say, only one word, not complete sentence. You are supposed to tell me just the last word of the statement, okay? How did he run? And what is the last word? Very good. Quickly. So, he ran quickly. How did he run? Quickly. Yes, this is the way. He ran quickly. How did he run? And what is his answer? Very good. Quickly. Right? So, this is an example. All right? Now, in the same way, you have to, you have to try to ask question and answer using the last word of the statement. Okay? Let's see the next one. Okay. What is there? Look. She spoke softly. What is the last word of this statement? Softly. She spoke softly. How did she speak? 
Very good. See? No. All right, you just say a single word softly. That is the response for, let's say, yes, this question. How did she speak? Softly. Let's see another one. Okay. Look at here. James scoffed loudly to attract her attention. Okay. What is the last word? James scoffed loudly. Look at here. This is the what? Adverb. Okay. James scoffed loudly. Why? To attract her attention. Okay. How did James scoff? How did James scoff? Hmm. Good. Yes, loudly. Okay. That is the adverb. You know very well. Okay. James scoffed loudly because coughed is a verb. Okay. And that verb is described by, look, let's see, adverb, loudly. Okay. James scoffed loudly. Loudly. Okay. Another one. Let's see here. Look, he plays the model beautifully. Okay, now the question, how does he play the model? Look, what is the last word of this statement? He plays the model beautifully. Good. Okay, the answer is beautifully. All right, he plays the model beautifully. Right. Let's look at another one. Let's see the statement first. He ate the chocolate cake greedily. Okay. Look, this boy, okay, he is eating the chocolate, okay, cake greedily. Now, the question is, how did he eat the chocolate cake? And the answer is, excellent, greedily. This is how you learned, you know, uh, the, the way that the ask question and answers using the correct adverbs. Yes, my dear students, uh, after discussing this exercise B, I guess now you are clear uh, about the use of adverbs, okay? How we use the adverbs using what? Different, let's say, the adverbs, the answer of, let's say, how, all right, and when, where, okay, how often, etc. All right, so here we go to exercise C. I guess you are clear while discussing uh, in exercise B as well. So what you should do now? You should complete the following sentences choosing the correct adverbs from the brackets. Let's see here, okay? Uh, there are two alternatives there. So you have to choose the one correct one to complete these sentences. Let's see the sentence A. You should drive. Fast or slow? Okay. Otherwise, you may get into an accident. Okay, let's see. Then what should you do? You should drive fast or slow? Otherwise, you may get into an accident. My dear students, now you are pretty clear. Which, which adverbs, okay, which adverbs, let's say adverb, is suitable here in sentence A? Very good. You should drive slow, right? You should drive slow. Otherwise, you may get an accident. So, this is the suitable exercise for, let's, I mean, suitable word. Uh, adverb for sentence A. Let's look at, uh, let's say, the sentence B. Dress up. Okay. Dress up. Quickly or quietly. Okay. You are getting late for school. See here. Okay. If you are getting late for school, then dress up quickly or quietly. Excellent. Okay. This is dress up quickly, otherwise you will get late for school, right? So dress up quickly, very good. And let's see sentence C, the man, the man hasn't eaten anything for eight hours, okay? 
The man hasn't eaten anything for eight hours. Now he is eating carefully or hungrily. Can you please guess? If somebody is not eating for eight hours, okay, uh, is he eating hungrily or carefully? Please, what do you tell me? If somebody is hungry, you know, I guess they they are not very much careful. All right. So what do how do they eat? Very good. Okay, look at here. The questions, you know, the man hasn't eaten anything for eight hours, and now he is eating hungrily. How is he eating? Very good. He is eating hungrily. The answer of what? How question? Okay. How is he eating? He is eating hungrily. Now let us discuss this one. Okay, sentence D. The road is slippery. Okay. If the road is slippery, then walk softly or carefully. Okay. If it is, if there is a slippery road, okay. So we need to walk. Very good. We need to walk carefully. Okay. So how do we need to walk? How? Carefully. Okay. The road is slippery and we need to walk carefully. How? Carefully. Good. And here, sentence E, the thief entered the house quietly, noisily. Okay. How does the thief enter the house? Makes noise or, or quietly. Okay. Good. The thief entered the house quietly. Okay. Nobody knew it. Right? Yes. How did the thief enter the house? Quietly. My dear students, while discussing these sentences, you got to know the answer of how question. How? Okay? Yes, slow, quickly, hungrily, carefully, quietly. Right? The answer of how questions. You can find there. This verb, okay, is described by the adverb. Okay, this adverb. So, these are the answer of how question. In this way, we discussed the grammar one. My dear students, after this, now we have grammar two. Okay, yes, the next part of this lesson. All right, grammar two. And again, okay, what are we going to do there? Yes, let us study these sentences. The words in a red are from the thank you note above. Okay. Yes, you can see. Thank you note. Are they adjectives or adverbs? Now you have to tell me. Okay. Let's say it is a beautiful dress and there is a nice building over there. Yes, my dear students. Now tell me. Okay. It is a beautiful dress and there is a nice building over there. Is it? Is it adjective or adverb? Okay. How do you know? Yes, very good. You are clever enough. Okay. If it, how? Okay. Where? When? Okay. How often? It doesn't describe, I guess, the answer of those question. Okay. So it is a beautiful dress. Let's see. It is a beautiful dress. Okay. So. This beautiful is, I guess you are guessing. Again, there is a nice, what? Okay, there is a nice building over there. You can see here, there is a nice building over there. Okay, so after, yes, discussing the exercise, you know, earlier, you can tell me, these are not adverbs. They are very good adjectives, okay? It is a beautiful dress. Where is the verb here? Is there a verb? No verb. Okay. If there was a verb, and we could say that it is a what? Adverb. Okay. So it is a beautiful dress and there is a nice building over there. All right. If so, now let us see here. You, you learn, you have already learned, okay. Many of the adverbs end in ly. Not all, let's say many. Okay. Many of the adverbs end in ly. But many of them. 
Now, let us change the following adjectives into adverbs. Then you can differentiate, you know, what is the difference between adjectives and adverbs. Let's see here. These are all the adjectives, okay? Sodden. Now, what you have to do? Very good. You have to make adverb adding what? L-Y. Okay, it's very simple. Now, you can do your yourself. Sodden. And what is the adverb? Good. Suddenly. Okay? Yes. And now it is the adverb. Suddenly. Quiet. Look at here. Quietly. Now, you know, you are, yes, clear enough about, you know, this one. Slow. Slowly. Okay? Careful. Very good. Carefully, okay? Easy? Easily. Look at here, okay? These adjectives, they don't have L-Y, okay? But look at here, the adverbs, okay? Adverbs, basically, mainly, ends with L-Y, okay? Easily, very simple. Okay, uh, right. Here we go, some more. We can see here, hungry. Look at here, hungry. Yes, hungrily. But one more thing, please look at here. Hungry, here is Y, okay, H-U-N-G-R-Y. But when you change that into adverb, that Y change into I, H-U-N-G-R-I. Look at here, hungrily, okay, hungrily. Yes, this is also another thing you need to remember, okay, hungrily. Look at here, thoughtful. Now, you're pretty clear, okay? Thoughtful. Yes, thoughtfully, okay? Confident. Confidently. Beautiful. Beautifully. And nice. Nicely. Right. Excellent. I guess you are now pretty clear the difference between adjectives and adverbs, okay? Adverbs mainly ends with what? L-Y. And adverbs answer the question of how question, when question, how often question, where question, etc. Okay? So, this is what uh, you have got to know, the difference between adjectives and adverbs. If so, we have one more exercise, my dear students. Now, let us look at this exercise. What do you see over there? Oh, uh, interesting. Okay, now you are clear about, let's say, uh, adjectives and adverbs. You have to find out now, what? The odd one out, okay? Say, which word in each group is the odd one? And you have to give you reason, okay? Now you are clear about adjectives and adverb. If so, then you have to give the reason that why it is odd one, why it is different than other in this group. Let's see. Nice, beautiful, pretty, and happily. Look, okay? Which one is the odd one in this group? Very good, okay? You are excellent. Look at here. This one. This one ends with L-Y, but look at other. Nice, beautiful, pretty. There is not. So, which one is the odd one out? Very good. Happily. And happily is adverb, and rest of others are adjectives. Very good. So, this is the this is the odd one in this group. Now, please find the another one. Little, slowly, happy, lonely. But now there is a question. All right. So, look at here. There is little, here is slowly, happy, and lonely. Okay. So, little and happy, there is no alloy, no problem. But look at here. Here is slowly, and here is lonely. Okay. Lonely means, you know, very well, sad, unhappy, okay? So, 
Is it adjectives or adverb? Okay. Right. Lonely. Alright. He is lonely at home. Okay. Alright. He is lonely. It's been feeling sad. Okay. Unhappy. Right. So that is not that is not adverb. That is adjectives. But slowly. Okay. He speaks slowly. Okay. He speaks slowly. Slowly. He speaks slowly. Right. So this is he walks slowly. He walks slowly. Look. This is adverb. So then, which one is the odd, odd one? Very good. Slowly is the odd one. Now, you can do others. Careful, confidently, slow, and loud. Very good. Okay. You can easily guess which one is the adverb. Excellent. Confidently. Okay. That is confidently. You can confidently. Okay. Tell me now. This is the adverb. Okay. Good. And let us look at it quickly, sudden, hungry, tall. Yes, in this sentence also, the which one? Very good. The first one is adverb and the rest of others are adjectives. Okay, quickly. And the last one, hungrily, dress, suits, computer. Look at here. All right, dress, suits, computer. These are noun. Okay, dress, suits, computer. And look at here, hungrily, okay? So, ending with the L-Y, all right? He is eating hungrily, okay? Yes, so this is the adverb, right? Yes, my dear students, all right? We have successfully completed all the exercises given in Grammar 1 and Grammar 2. I guess you are pretty clear now about adjectives and adverb okay you can choose the best answer and you can use the adjectives and adverb correctly so what did we learn in our class today my dear students good in our class today we learned firstly we learned to pronounce the words correctly with the number of syllables okay yes there were some words from the reading text. We correctly pronounced those words. And, and we also learned uh, the, the, what do you say, number of syllables in those words. And then, after that, we also learned to differentiate between adjectives and adverb. The use of adjectives and adverb. What is the difference between adjectives and adverb? All right. And lastly, which sense? Adjectives into adverbs, adding what? Yellow Y. Okay? Yes. With this, we have come to the end of our interesting lesson. The use of adjectives and adverbs. Okay? So, please, my dear students, before we end up the lesson, I would like to remind you all, please, do these all the exercises. Okay, based on the relation adjectives and adverb, and so it to your teacher for correction. Thank you so very much for your active participation to the end of this lesson. We will meet again in the next interesting lesson. Till then, I would like to say Namaste and bye bye.